Yes, when we introduce 100 buses and we've taken one lane out, uh, those who will be using private cars will actually find more congestion. But because now we have sufficient buses, one bus carrying 100 people, uh, and because the bus is safe, the fare is affordable, and uh, I have given you a park and ride. You can park your car here and get onto the bus. There is no reason why you, you will be sitting in traffic, uh, because I have given you an option. A key component of BRT under construction is the park and ride stations. It simply means an area where you park your car, hop into a bus and travel, then come back later and pick your car and drive home. A place like this one. The Kasarani Terminus, just outside Kasarani International Stadium. When completed, the place will have a parking area then the workshop for repairing buses, the offices, and the platform for boarding. to understand a few of its functions. I visited the Kenya Bus Service Workshop in Kangware. So to understand what happens in an organized workshop, I've come here at the Kenya Bus Service Depot in Kangware. And it looks quite something like it. Let's go. Now this one is a tow vehicle. It's the one that pulls spoiled buses and brings them in the workshop. And as you can see, some of the buses here are being either repaired, maintained, or just checked. It's quite wonderful. My name is Stephen Kimonye, here in Kenya Buzz, I'm a workshop supervisor. Inside here is where we repair our engines, gearboxes, generally the big components of our buses. Like uh, my engine here, it had failed. We have done what we call engine overhaul, that is the replacement of pistons, cylinder gaskets, and generally the general repair, including the changing of oil. My engineer, give, given that it is uh, deceased, I've managed to repair the pistons, the rings, the gaskets. I've already tested my engine and it has proved it to be okay. It is very important to check a vehicle which varies passengers because a small problem can bring a very big damage. So it is good to check them frequently. Brake adjustment, tire wear, the right tire pressure also. It is also the company's terminus. Here, I met KBS Managing Director, Edwin Mukabana. The workshop also maintains spare, spare, spare store. That spare store must have uh, spares that enable the vehicle to reduce downtime. When you have a, uh, a, spare, shop, uh, a spare shop that gives you spares uh, real time, then it ensures that you reduce downtime because then you can get and fix a vehicle immediately. In the workshop, you have units. You have the unit shop where engines, gearboxes, differentials are repaired. You have an electrical shop where you all the electrical systems of the vehicles are, are done. You have, uh, you have what we normally call the safari check where you check the vehicles in the night. 
But then there are the vehicles that will come during the, the day to be maintained and they go back onto duty. That area is very important because it has a problem, then it comes into the workshop, the brakes are adjusted and the vehicle goes away. Then you have an area where the bodywork is done. If a vehicle has had an accident, then you have to repair the bodywork in record time so that you reduce. Remember, if you are operating buses, there will be only a certain percentage. Normally it will be five to 10% of the fleet that must remain in the workshop. The rest of the vehicles must be on the road. We normally say buses make money when they are turning wheels. If they are not turning wheels, they don't make money. But some in Kenya are already imagining a city with lots of options for its people.